Hello everyone, my name is Will Reed and I am a Public Engagement Coordinator for the Commonwealth War Graves Commission and I'm here standing today at the entrance of Runnymede Air Force Memorial here in Surrey that commemorates over 20,000 air service men and women uh, who have no known grave and uh, fought all across the world and today I'd like to tell you a little bit about an extraordinary story about the McRobert brothers and the sacrifice they made during the Second World War. So now we are standing in the Royal Air Force Memorial Cloisters, which bears the name of over 20,000 service men and women. And I'm standing next to one name in particular, which you will see just here, McRobert, which is one of the three brothers that served with the Royal Air Force just before and during the Second World War. To begin with the first brother, Alistair, he actually died during a training accident in 1938. The second brother, Roderick, was serving out in Iraq and it was whilst he was on operations with 237 Squadron that he was unfortunately lost and is now commemorated over in Mosul in Iraq. And finally, the third brother, Ian, he, as you can see, is commemorated up on the wall. He was fighting with Coastal Command when he was lost on operations over the North Sea in June of 1941. So in response to losing her three sons, Lady McRobert decided to give a handsome sum of £25,000, which in today's money is over £1 million, to buy a sterling bomber to continue the fight and the war effort. And they named this McRobert's Reply. And on it, it bore the coat of arms of the McRobert family and continued to serve in operations all over Europe before it was finally lost in Denmark in 1942. This is therefore an extraordinary story of defiance and also one of great sacrifice. You can discover more extraordinary stories like this by going on our website to uncover the personal stories and the sites that are local to you.